Taking a deep breath in, all the way down to your danjon, exhaling slowly. In our dojang, there are four levels of red belt. The first follows high blue, the second is the hube high red, the third is the sunbe high red, and the last is bodan, the belt right below first dan black belt. The core lesson of the first level of red belt is humanity. Its essence is the collective good. Its sentiment captured by the saying, I am not free until we are all free. It is indeed the transition from I to we, when we think not only of ourselves, expanding our mindset, heart and soul to be in relationship to all people. This is in fact the first core lesson of a belt that is fundamentally about interconnectedness, our interdependence as humans and as students of the World Martial Arts Center. The first red belt is like a gateway where we emerge on the other side, not just as the individual who enrolled in our first class, but as a member of a community. About eight or so years ago, there were six red belts who would often see each other in the same class and have casual conversation in the dressing room. They decided to test for the Hupe high red belt at the same time. As the promotion date drew closer, each of them trained harder and more often and occasionally would run into each other at the dojang and train together. Each had their own areas to work on and fears to overcome. On test night, after the usual run-through of requirements, Sabunim told these six red belts to do one final form, Chengji One Steps One Kang. That evening, these six students failed. It was unbelievable. What did I do wrong, they each asked themselves. They remembered the techniques. They went through all the forms without forgetting a move. And yes, all of them did in fact move through the mat drills, the techniques, and all the forms without any major error. Each one of these red belts trained regularly and manifested the core lessons of the previous belts. Respect, discipline, focus, faith, determination, commitment, courage. And when they were high blue belts, they certainly needed to embrace the core lesson of confidence in order to cross the threshold and receive their first red belt. All those lessons focused on individual development, supporting us to show up as our best selves on and off the mat. And each of those six red belts did show up well, individually. And when they did Chengji One Steps One Kang at the test, they also showed up as six individuals, each moving to their own rhythm and pace. It is at this rank, and not before, when we will hear Sabanim say that we are like an orchestra. Our bodies are like instruments that we must tune and practice on our own, and then come together, harmonizing, making beautiful music. Unlike other forms, Chengji One Steps One Kang is always done without count, compelling us to release our ego, clear our mind, and synchronize each breath and movement. We become that which is written on a scroll overlooking the dojang mat. One mind, one action. Humanity seeing ourselves in relationship to and in community with others. Embedded in this core lesson is humility. We didn't just earn our red belt because we trained. We wear it because Sabanim created our beloved Dojang, passing on all that he learned from his teachers. And the Chongsanims, seniors, and all instructors 
volunteer their time to teach class and work with us outside of class. And they got to where they are because others came before them and did the same. We are part of a lineage, a tradition, a legacy that is passed forward from one generation of black belts to the next. This is why, starting with the Hubei High Red Belt, our testing requirements include dojang assistance and field duty. We are expected to contribute to the dojang, pass forward what we have received. We have the cleanest dojang in the city. That is the work of a handful of dedicated students, as well as those who come out for periodic dojang cleanings. We have excellent classes, and that is because of our excellent instructors, and they all became excellent because they assisted in classes for years before teaching. We have white belts, the lifeline of any martial arts school, and that is because students volunteer for Atlantic Antic and demos and do outreach to their friends, and these efforts are usually led by bodans. When we internalize the core lessons of the high red belts, wisdom, gratitude, appreciation, we build our capacity to harness that energy into passing forward, giving back, contributing to the collective good. This is why we wear red on our belt for over a year as we move through the four levels of red belt. Many black belts were bodons for three or four years. This is an exceptional period of intensifying self-awareness and expanding leadership. It is a time when we become more conscious of the sacrifices made by Sabanim, the Chungsanims, and the senior instructors, deepening our gratitude, appreciation, and humility. How we show up during this time defines the character of the next generation of black belts, which ensures that the high standards set by Sabanim will be upheld. And while there is a clear structure and pathway for ascending in belt rank, the core lessons of each belt can be and have been practiced by students of all ranks. This morning, I invite you to reflect on your martial arts journey, recalling an individual who supported you, and send a gratitude from your heart out to that person. Let them know how much it meant to you, how grateful you are. In our dodong, once we wear red on our belt, we have entered a new portal, realm, gateway, receiving a higher level of expectations. Harnessing the wisdom of our martial arts experience, let us utilize it in every aspect of our life. Let us be grateful and appreciative of all we have learned and gained and be willing to share it with others. Let us always remember that when we help others, we also help ourselves. Let us go deeper in our martial arts and strive for higher results. May we always be reliable and dependable and stand by our word. May we be committed and always complete what we started. May the light and magic inside of each of us shine and allow it to shine on all those around us. Underneath the Bodon requirements in the curriculum binder, there is a quote by Sabanim. Every act, word, thought, and emotion of gratitude moves the universe in your favor. And I will add that in doing so, we move the universe in service 
of humanity. May we all practice gratitude today and every day. From my heart to yours. Have a wonderful day.